So for the SOCl2 molecular geometry, we'll start by looking at the Lewis structure. You can see we have an oxygen atom, two chlorines, and then a lone pair of electrons there bonded to that central sulfur. And that gives us an idea of what the shape might be, because we can imagine those all spreading out as far away as possible from each other, and that gives us the molecular geometry in accordance with the valence shell electron pair propulsion theory. We can also use the AXN notation to help us figure out that molecular shape for SOCl2. A, that's our central sulfur. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to that central sulfur atom. We have two chlorines and one oxygen, so we have three atoms bonded. And N, that's the number of non-bonding electron pairs, called lone pairs sometimes. We have these two right down here, so we'll put one pair for the N. We could have memorized that AX3N is trigonal pyramidal, sometimes called trigonal pyramidal, or we can look it up in a table if we have one available to us. So going down our table, we have AX2, AX3, AX2N, AX2N2, and way at the bottom, AX3N. That's what we're looking for, and that is trigonal pyramidal, and we can see the bond angle 109.5. Let's see what that looks like in three dimensions. So here we have the SOCl2 molecule, the sulfur, that's in the center, then we have the oxygen here, and then these are the chlorine atoms. And don't forget that pair of unbonded electrons that was on top of the sulfur. So this is our trigonal pyramidal molecular geometry for SOCl2, and we know that these bond angles here are 109, about 109.5 degrees, and that's the same as the bond angle here and then the bond angle on the other side. So that's the molecular geometry or shape for SOCl2. It is trigonal pyramidal. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.